Okay, I'm going to try this experiment. So today I went and I got my wasa, the sourdough. Here's one of the crackers. And this is the wasa sourdough. And I'm going to see if this is going to work to make a pizza. It's a pizza. So I got the rau, um, because this one is a little bit more natural than a lot of them. Uh, this doesn't have all the heavy sugar in it that other ones. This has got tomatoes, Italian cherry tomatoes, olive oil, carrots, onions, salt, oregano, garlic, and basil in it. So I'm going to take that and go get a... What I use, excuse me, back up here a little bit. When you can't get the lid off of something, you have this nifty little thing and it pops it, the lid, you know, puts a little air in there so you can open the thing. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna take a little bit of this sauce here. Oh, I forgot to put, let me get my, olive oil here first. I'm going to use the Thea olive oil. Put that on there. Nice generous thing of that. Okay. So we've got some olive oil here. Get this back out, out of the way. Okay. And now I'm going to take and spread this some of the um, pizza. Okay. So you just put a little bit on there. So I've got to put this over here. Going to do some fresh tomato as well, and some. Going to get some. A little bit of onion, fine onion. Okay. Okay, so we've got onion. I'll open this up. Going to do a little bit of the um, bell pepper. So a couple little things of bell pepper. I think I'll do a little bit of zucchini. Now I'm cutting these really thin because I'm not cooking this long. I'm just kind of heating it up so they're going to be, you know, if you want your veggies, I would uh, maybe cook them first, usually. But we're just going to do this experiment here and see how this works. You get some olives, do a little olive on here, green olive. Maybe the zucchini is not such a great idea. I think I'll take the zucchini off because I don't think it's not going to really cook. So I don't know if I want to do raw zucchini. So I'm going to do some olives. Got some olive on there, bell pepper. Okay. Some fresh tomato. 
some little extra tomato. Put some little, little extra tomato here. And I bought the um, Italian style cheese already shredded so this has got the mozzarella provolone parmesan romana fontina and asiago cheeses so i want to put that on there pretty well okay and stick it in the microwave here and we'll see how it does. Now I want to put this on here. I'm putting a top on it so that I don't have it, um, you know, making a mess over the microwave. So I'm going to stick this in here. I think I'll try uh, 20 seconds first because I'm going to put 20 seconds first because I'm not sure how long it's going to take to melt the cheese. Um, we don't want to put it for too long because the cheese, I think, melts pretty quick. So let's see what we've got. Let's check it. Check it. See what I've got. Maybe a little more. So I'm going to put it in 20 more seconds. So maybe 40 seconds for the whole thing. And then, I'm going to give it a try and see if it worked. If it stays crisp or not. Okay. 40 seconds. It's crisp, still crisp. Here you have it. Now that looks good. Don't want to burn myself. Hopefully I don't get burned. Mm. That is hot. <laughs> but definitely looks like that's working. I'm going to give it a few seconds to cool off so I can actually eat it. But there you have it. A crisp wasa sourdough pizza on the fly. 40 seconds and you're done. So if you want your vegetables you know that you can also you know saute it first if you want them you know really cooked well but i think that this is going to cook it enough so i'm going to let this cool a little bit and enjoy it and i'll see you online